I'm here enjoying a very peaceful morning in Bonita Springs this morning with Mally Corasanchi. So Mally, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. For agreeing to uh, meet with me on uh, on short notice. Although, you know, we have talked about meeting each other for such a long time. <laughs> we did. Yes, we know each other already. We know, we know each <laughs> without other. Without ever seeing each other. So, But it's so great. It's so great to meet you and... Uh, I would like to spend a few minutes and talk about your background and to talk a little bit about your work, which is magnificent. Thank you. Um, and so you are German yes. by birth. Yes. Uh, but you've and been... American by choice. An American by choice. Absolutely. Good. Yes. <laughs> but you've been, um, you've, you've been in, um, in <gasps> Naples area for... 1992. Quite a long time. Yeah, right. 30 years. Right. It's exactly 30 years, so... And I've been just blessed to see this little town growing and blooming and it was developed exactly the way you are dreaming a little place could be developed with art in the background and Amazing. the beauty of our nature and in interesting international people and the people that live here originally and even the Indians that we have here in our background. It's just a beautiful place to Multicultural live. Multicultural. Yes, and absolutely. Uh, you know. And the Canadians, you know, <laughs> our visitors, which we enjoy we tremendously. Do, we, do descend, we do descend somehow from uh, December until May, and then we all go away. And we I come know, back and again. we all are relieved when you leave. But then in October, we can't wait for you to come back because we need the energy and we love to be... Uh, you know, inspired by other cultures and visitors, and we do need both, absolutely, and enjoy both. You've had some incredible successes, Mali, uh, in in your life. Um, I mean, you've had twelve uh, solo exhibitions and uh, eighteen um, joint exhibitions, and and I was really impressed when I read um, that you had some work in the Russian State Museum in Saint Petersburg. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that experience? Um, you know, as an artist, you also have to have a lot of luck. I think that's just a little piece that you get from heaven on top. Because there's so many people that have much better work. And sometimes it's just a matter of, yeah, that right person at the right, right moment. Time. So I ran into the director of the Russian Museum in Naples on the street and he could not pronounce himself or his <laughs> wife what they were looking for and I it was at the Naples Art Association and I said can I help you because I didn't understand and he said we are looking for new artists and I said sure you just found me you know just joking and then they came to my studio and we are ever since then I think it's seven years we have been very good friends so I've been to the Frauen Museum in Germany with the big exhibition about women and war. And then my German things about my background, where I came from. And then it just established one after the other. And now I'm in, in, in the Russian State Museum next to the Hermitage. And I'm also in the MoMA in Moscow. And this has been a wonderful, beautiful connection. And they're wonderful, great people. But it also, I think, the main thing stays and will always be the painting process. You know, you just, this is where your, that's where your spring is, where you come from, where your energy is. And you have to be very protective and keep it that way. And I can always connect here with nature anywhere in Naples, anywhere in Florida. It's just, it's, it's one, I think, one of the best pieces on this world. And so, as long as you work and love to work. Where does this wellspring come from, Mali, for your style? Because it's, um, when I look at your work, I, I think of several adjectives. I think that it's lush, uh, that it's rich in detail, that it is um, incredibly beautiful. And, you know, some of the things you say, it is a sort of a, it's an oxymoron between calm and chaos. Mm -hmm. um, and is that just, a part of life um, that in that that state between calm and chaos I do think we are all kind of we come from our own roots it's my German in heritage there's a lot of deep thinking German but there's also this little kid that was always dreaming about fairy tales 
and uh, dwarves and kings and the Gebrüder Grimm. And that, that's, I think it's connected to the Sauberwald, to the magic forest, to the, to the nature where, where these little people live eventually under roots or whatever. And it's imagination. I think it's imagination, you know. Uh, and then, then, then you must have a very rich imagination. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> I do. And I enjoy it. I really do enjoy that. And I do think then comes the con combination of all the other things. This wonderful America that loosened up my German mm -hmm. stiffness. Mm -hmm. So which mm -hmm. I really, truly enjoy mm -hmm. too. I mm -hmm. love this country. And so this is it. This very is simple. It. Very simple. This no. is this is it. Yes. Well, and the rest is working, and it's just loving work. You've had some great success. I mean, um, Naples has been very kind to you, yeah, right? In totally. Many ways. Very and, much. And um, you have enjoyed uh, great gallery representation here mm -hmm. in Naples. We're looking at a beautiful little turtle here floating by <laughs> us right now. <laughs> uh, you're represented by Harmon Meek um, yes. in Naples, and. Uh, and you had a wonderful exhibition at the Naples uh, Botanical Gardens. Yes. And yes. I'm sure that was very well received by the community. Yes, and I'm hanging in the front of the Baker Museum, so the entrance. I've been very, very, very grateful to Artist Naples. And I've been here just, I've been very blessed here. I've also enjoyed tremendously to go to New York, so I have Walter Wickheiser there, and unfortunately he's now only online, but I enjoyed all the times there in Chelsea and the openings, and I'm looking to find another gallery there in New York. So, um, because perhaps, I'm... Perhaps we can find a gallery for you in Canada. That would be lovely too. I love Canada too. I mean, what's not to love about Canada? It's just a beautiful... It's just a great, wonderful country. Well, here, the no? change of the seasons, of yeah. course, is yes. what makes yes. Canada Absolutely. especially wonderful, right? Yes. And it's extremely beautiful. No? It, it's, it's vast, and the population isn't nothing like uh, like the U.S., but um, I guess you could call us hearty and mighty. and. It's exactly what the need is. It is. It no? is. It's it in is, a way. No? It is, in a way. It's humble, but it is majestic. I do think those things to Canada. No? You have a couple of so, uh, interesting projects on the horizon for 2022. Can you tell yes, us Yes, this that? is the show coming up in Germany and I was not familiar with the Osthaus Museum but by coincidence I got a book about uh, Kirchner and I didn't know that Mr. Osthaus was the um, he really um, was the best friend of Kirchner and he made him who he became later on. And I'm interested to see his private house there. And I'm very excited to show now. I think it's 14 pieces that are from this time and then seven pieces from my Germany part. I'm excited to go there. I'm actually meeting on the day of the opening my girlfriend Anke, who is on one of the paintings and we are both running together in on a on a school fest. And She's now also 74. We are 65 years girlfriend. And that is already fantastic. A no celebration. No? It's no a celebration. Kidding. So there, the, we have been all these orderly behaving women. I think we are very old now, but we are still pretty much alive and <laughs> very welcome. Yes. We have a lot of energy still. And yes, I think indeed. that's fantastic. No? You so. presented me with a lovely book. Thank you very, very Thank much. Thank you, my pleasure. Uh, I will look forward to diving in. Well, you know, right away, I'm attracted to all the beautiful blues and the uh, the beautiful whites, and and you know, the image right away is very captivating. And I'm sure that as I have an opportunity to dive in even further, I mean, <laughs> everyone is your baby. I know. And all of those, and most of my paintings have the hexagon, and the hexagon goes back to Rudolf Steiner. I've extensively studied Rudolf Steiner, and he was an Austrian philosopher and anthropologist, and so this goes directly into the beehives and the bees, which I am using now, I think, like at least 10 years, over 10 years. 
and you know the order of the bees and everything in nature has an order and I feel the more you listen to this and yourself to the order the more you function that's actually the secret I think of all the work that we do and we function much better by listening to our own rhythm indeed and we do so indeed we do this well, thank you ever so yes, much. Simple. Thank you for the coffee. Simple. <laughs> thank you for the treats. And, yes. Um, thank you. We will, we will thank you very, very to much. Enjoy for another few minutes. Now. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are enjoying this beautiful piece, Mally. Is it titled? Do you title your work? Uh, I think it's Limitations 5 or something like that. It was made during the time of limitations where we all limited ourselves mm -hmm. because nothing actually other than that we have it in our head has happened, especially the ones that didn't have any kind of limitation. So this is just pieces that I grabbed together. And it's, first of all, I take the photographs myself. I try to reduce the colors and then I... I put them into like a monochromic, monochromatic. Painting. Yep. Yes. So, like these pieces are all mm. totally nature. Those are parts from underneath the mangroves, my hex my hexagons, which are my my honeycombs. Your symbol, yes. And then there is the Florida uh, taiga, whatever you want mm -hmm, to call mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then there are pieces that go together, and there's like a little bit of a piece of carpet. There's a house here. And there is where the little, I told you about the little dwarfs or whatever, they come <laughs> out of the jungle and they go and oh, they live and they it. have a tiny little castle here it. and you just go by and don't see it. And then when you look at here, you think this goes up there. But when you turn this whole thing, because it's about water and nature, you see this from that side. You can see clearly it's ah, a sailboat. I never noticed that. Yes, and it's a sailboat that goes against the... Uh -huh. He's hanging in the spinnaker here, uh -huh. hanging over and sailing. And I am an old-fashioned sailor. So, and it's all about perspective. You do see and you do not see. Wonderful. It's your decision what you see. The visible so, and the invisible. No? Yeah. So this is kind of an interesting example. Well, so oh. now where will this one be headed? Is it headed to it's New York? Not, or? It's, no. No. You don't I know? I have no idea where it will head. It doesn't know it yet, but it will head somewhere, no? You know, for all kind of simple. And do you usually put the, incorporate the, the... This is very often it's the case, no? But not mm -hmm. always. But mm -hmm. I do like the structure of the honeycomb and I do like it also for holding a piece together. You know, I wish I would have more examples here but you would see that even the structure of a hexagon sometimes just structurally holds a painting together mm -hmm. because a painting mm -hmm. needs always a balance mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. hanging it's floating so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i use that you see and then you paint here and you work like this one i had to take do a couple of little tiny little ones there's just a teensy tiny little piece Love here it. Love and then it's it. painted around it no? Love it. it's not really there and here are all these photographs yeah. that I make awesome and then it changed the, the colors and this is vellum paper mm, beautiful I mean this is just endless it's oh gosh and do <laughs> well this is almost like looking out your window yes. some of these things and it's a lot of things it's really stealing wow huh? it's yeah really steal like an artist and the more you look each one gets you into a different kind of yeah yeah i mean yeah. agree you know it and before you know this is fun this is is this like childhood yes cutting and yes. Uh, you know pasting and, and everything goes collaging. and gets you into a different dream yeah, yeah. you put it on top and then Look, cool. the yeah, similarities is, yeah, of the colors, of forms, of shapes. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. my job is really totally wonderful. I want to say that it's it's like you play like a child forever. Yep. And then nobody is going to pay you on top of that. <laughs> I mean, this is just amazing, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, awesome. yeah. It's true, it's true. Oh, oh beautiful. You're constantly so beautiful. with beautiful things. Mm. It's. Mm. Awesome. It's really amazing. Hmm? It is. It 
this. What Even this? looking out of the window. No? Yeah. In this tiny little shed. Pretty cool, Mommy. You couldn't get better. Couldn't get better. No? <laughs> Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us. <laughs>